How's it going everybody? Welcome back Jacked Up Fishing. Well, we're putting a boat lift in today, an elevator style boat lift for the 37 Sea Hunter. So if you want to see that, stick around and I'll show you how they install it. So we had a four post lift before we took that out. I didn't like how it stuck out in the middle of the canal. It was like 13 and a half feet in the middle of the canal. Our canal is only 50 foot wide. So, uh, you know, this one's a little bit less invasive. It's an elevator lift. It only has two poles right along the wall. It lifts them up out and it lifts it at an angle, which is really cool. Um, I see them a lot down South Florida. So I figured I'd replace the old lift with this one. And uh, we'll watch Jordan put it in. He's got a crew here. I got it on time lapse. We'll pick up some good footage. I'll show you around the boats. See what I got going on here on the compound. Stick around. Good night. Look how thick that is. That's some big boy stuff right there. It's for a little reference. I think it's got to be 12 foot I-beam. 12 inch I-beam. It's got to be 12 inch I-beam. Looks to be half inch thick. Buddy, that's where it's at. And over there, they got these big boys. Oh. So before I had a four post lift, I had posts out in the middle and posts along the wall. This, this lift's less invasive to the canal. It's called an elevator lift. So we pulled the center poles out. I used to have pulled them out and we're getting this pull, this lift installed instead. Pretty cool lift. Pretty easy. Looks like it goes in pretty easy. These boys are doing work. So what amazed me about Jordan and Josh is they came over with a five man crew and they did it all by hand, no machinery. So right here, they're getting ready to put the pole in. It's five guys and they're getting ready to set this pole in all by hand. They lift it up, get it straight, put the level on it and jet it down. Pretty awesome. And here's the second pole they jet down. We had a set of poles there, but they showed some rot. They had some worms in them. So we put some new poles in. They get, came out with 10 inch poles and uh, sunk them right down in the same spots that we were before. But they did it all by hand, jetted it down, leveled them, and got them situated perfectly. Now here's the heavy part. This is the I-beam. It's 12 inch I-beam, and it is 25 foot long. And you see they're struggling. This is five guys putting this I-beam in, and it's gotta be at a perfect angle, 24 degree angle. So they gotta get it perfectly set up. And there's a mount on top of the pole that it slides into, so it's pretty critical to get it perfect. Otherwise the lift won't work correctly. So here's the second I-beam. Same thing, they gotta line it up in the mount first and they gotta get it at a perfect angle. One guy actually jumps in the water and they're having a little bit of a tough time getting that angle set perfectly. He jumps in the water, helps guide it along, they jet it with a jet and they're getting it down. And it was amazing to watch these guys work. They really got, got it down to a science. So they got it in and then they start having to beat it down into the hard pan, which is a pretty cool thing as well. That's how you drive a pole right there. So a lot of guys use all the machinery and come out here with machinery. These guys are pretty simple. They use manpower. They lift the actual forks of this lift, put it over there and hang it by the actual cables of the lift and they start bolting everything together. It's a pretty amazing process to watch the way they hang this and then they swing it out onto the I-beam. And these guys are in the water treading water and holding this big I-beam. So I decided to throw the drone up a few times, show everybody what the canal looks like, how wide it is. You can see my other boathouse over there and that's got my filet table and my bay boat but this right here is an aerial photo of them putting it in and just another view of it coming in the canal and what it looks like no outside poles 
So they finished putting on all the motors, assembling all of the switches and all the bunks for the lift, and just pretty much buttoning it all up. Looks really good. There's a guy out there floating on a little piece of styrofoam, and he's helping everybody out, and it's a really cool process to watch. I'm really jacked. Can't wait to get the new boat on it, and uh, they did a really good job. Looking sick. Stainless steel motors, still got to put the switches on and everything. I got my boy Jordan, his brother Josh. What's I'll up? Put, What's I'll up? put their info down below here. If you ever need a lift installed, they get, they're pretty awesome. They put it in, what is it, two o'clock right now. They started at eight, six hours. They put a 16,000 pound lift in. Ain't no time wasted here. Nope, call us. So I'm gonna put their number right here. Uh, if you uh, need a lift, like I said, give them a call. Jordan and Josh, they're good guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this thing is serious. Real serious. I am stoked. Now I gotta get the boat on it. Well, I'm pretty stoked today. I just got done fueling this pig up with fuel because we didn't fill it up after our last tuna trip. And, uh, it stung a little bit, I ain't gonna lie. Gas is going up. Well, I'm on the way back around. I'm gonna put the boat on the new lift I just had installed. And uh, I'm pretty excited, to say the least. Lifting it all up. That's a hoss right there if you lift enough too. She's up. We went on vacation, I didn't get a chance to put it on the lift, but now she's there. She's going up. And this is called an elevator lift. There's only two posts on the side here, and there's none out in the center. So that's why I liked it, because I could come in, go in sideways, pull up into it, and then lift it up. Didn't really, wasn't invasive into our canal here, which is why it was really important, I thought at least. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Well, that's that. Things up on the lift keeps me out of the boat ramps where I start to lose my temper because some of these people out here leave a comment below if you've had some trouble with the boat ramps lately during the summer I think it's the worst ever been but I think I'm gonna do a nice boat ramp video maybe a uh, boat ramp do's and don'ts boat ramp do's and don'ts so uh, leave a comment below if you want to see that might have to spend the day out there letting people know what's up anyway well I appreciate everybody watching if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Got some awesome tuna videos coming up. I also have some uh, Moab Desert, Yellowstone Park, uh, National Park vacation videos coming up. And we're leaving for the Bahamas here in two weeks. So that should have some great videos for that as well. All right, thanks for watching. Jacked up out. <laughs>